Anyway, since making her film debut in the 1977 movie Andy Hall, she's appeared in over 30 movies, including her latest imaginary heroes. So please welcome Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> Oh, it's a high standard. <laughs> so our spies tell us that backstage you met Ben McKenzie from the OC. I did. You I, badgered him for I an autograph. Did, I did. What? I did. You know him. better I than did. that, Sigourney. I'm sorry. <laughs> and a picture. <laughs> Wait a minute. Sigourney Weaver gets starstruck? Well, well, my daughter and I watch the OC every you Thursday too. night. And uh, of course, it's about high school. My daughter's just starting high school, mm -hmm. and you gotta watch, you gotta see what Summer's wearing, et cetera, you know. Right, and sure. She's crazy about Ben, too, I'll bet. Uh, yes, and, and Adam, well, I shouldn't say this. Anyway, this is her <laughs> business, but I think she'll be very excited to have that order. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's, that's nice. terrific. She's going to get a big day yesterday. Yes, tell Kind of like a last minute uh, replacement for someone to speak in front of a, a crowd did. up in Canada. I did. You know, <laughs> making a speech is one of the most feared things a person can go through. Yeah, I agree. I, I'm actually kind of astonished that <clears throat> I can do it at all. And it's basically, frankly, my speech is about, um, well, first of all, how terrific women are and that we're the glue that holds the world together. Yeah. I keep telling him that. Exactly. <laughs> I tell him every day. <laughs> But it's also about, you know, how uncomfortable a, a, a lot of us are growing up and, you know, mm -hmm. what geeks we are and how long it takes us to feel like we have a semblance of having it together, if ever, you know. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. so, and it went over well, I hear. Uh, it was really fun. They were a very warm crowd in Toronto and they, they laughed a lot. It was like, you know, phew. It's <laughs> right, only the sure. second time I've ever done it, yeah. so. And how long do they expect you to uh, uh, speak for and do you have to write the speech yourself? Well, I did write the speech myself mm -hmm. because... I, I don't know, it never occurred to me to have someone else write it. Um, and I try to sort of see where I'm going, but mainly I kind of just talk my way through it. You know, um, it's luckily it's my life. I kind of know the material. Um, but, um, but I think every audience is different. And, um, you know, I talked a lot about Toronto, the film festivals up there. Oh, sure. and, um, so it was fun. Well, that's great. Right. So you're a big hit. You know, in the introduction, we mentioned Annie Hall. Yes. We said that was your very first movie. Yeah. And actually, did you wind up with a smaller part than, a, than Woody had originally offered you? Well, I was offered a bigger part, but I was in an off-Broadway show, and mm -hmm. I didn't want to leave the show. So oh. I, I did. Uh, instead, I got this great walk-on at the end of the movie. We were standing outside the Sorrow and the Pity, and um, <laughs> Diane Keaton is there with Walter Bernstein, and I'm Woody's date. and. It was just like 15 minutes, but of course, it's such a great movie. Right, 15 sure. minutes? Yeah. That's a long time. No, 15 I... minutes to take it. Yes. You know, I mean, it was just like, you know, to do the whole thing. Very first film. Got to start yeah, somewhere, start, Sigourney. Start, start and do you think that's the thing that really got you noticed? Oh, that... no, I don't think so. I mean, in fact, if you watch the film on television, you'd need binoculars to even see that it was me. I mean, I'm this big. It's a long shot. <laughs> that's oh. like us in our movies, too. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, um, you know, Sigourney, they sent me a, a DVD, uh -huh. and we just <clears throat> bought a DVD recently, which does not work. Oh, it stays so on, now reading, oh. now reading. Gilman, yeah. you're going to have to solve this for me. Yeah. Now reading, and it doesn't go no, beyond that. that. That happens to me, too. Am I doing something wrong? No, I, I want to <laughs> smash that thing and break it. Up. You should. I think well, I think I will. Idea. So if you could explain to Regis <clears throat> about the movie. Because yeah. <laughs> we had right. it last okay. night, yeah. and then today everybody's he's celebrating right. what a great film it well, is. Well, it, it is. It's a wonderful movie. I say that because I'm, I'm just part of the ensemble, written and directed by, uh, uh, I think he was 21 when he wrote the script and sent it to me, Dan Harris. Mm -hmm. um, he's also writing Superman, and it's about a family called the Travises, mm -hmm. who are this, something bad happens in the beginning of the movie and each of the family members just spirals off into some sort of horrible web of self-destruction like mm -hmm. my son who's wonderfully played by Emile Hirsch mm -hmm. um, goes to a lot of teenage parties that are every mother's nightmare right, sure. and um, my mm. character sneaks pot from her daughter and um, picks up guys in the supermarket and you know they're all I think very lovable characters mm -hmm. but what's nice about it is although it deals with serious issues it has a very light touch and there's as much light in it as there is dark and I think he's really an amazing filmmaker Dan Harris. So. Yeah the, the subject matter mm -hmm. seems to be a little on the dramatic side but nevertheless a lot of laughs as well right? I think so yeah, I think good. so. It's good. Well, should we take a look at your character in action here? Well, 
please. Thank well, you. Uh, you, you are now uh, confronting a young man who's been bullying your son. Yes. Uh, which is a very motherly thing to do, right? <laughs> Here it is, Imaginary Heroes. Well, I'd stop bullying the minute. <laughs> Imaginary Heroes, it opens in New York February 18th. Thanks so much, Sigourney. So much to see you. We're going to meet our wedding couple next, and then Benjamin McKenzie.